Welcome to another Professor Pinball creation. This time we have Star Trek, The Next Generation, one of the classic super pins of Williams and Bally's in the mid 90s. This is a wide body, it's designed by Steve Ritchie. It's got three flippers, two on the right, one on the left. Wonderful ramps, wonderful shots, and if you like Star Trek, incredible theme integration. So what I have on this is a WPC extended Penduino board um, that's controlling three sets of addressable LEDs, um, one on each of the main ramps. So we've got it on the alpha ramp uh, in the middle, beta ramp on the right, and the gamma ramp over here on the left. Um, what you're looking at right now is the attract mode, which is using the sparkle effect in the Penduino library. What this is doing is randomly turning on LEDs and then fading them. It creates this very nice uh, twinkling light effect. It goes very well with the theme of Star Trek. Um, and it'll randomly change colors from blue to white um, as the game, as, uh, as it runs. Um, this has been an absolutely fun game to program against. And the reason for that is that the flasher activity is really well tied into events inside of the game. So for example, if a ball is ejected out of here, the game often makes a transporter sound effect and then flashes a flasher down here. When this flasher goes off, the Penduino is able to detect that and I can now write a, uh, a lighting effect that has um, um, blue lights come streaming down the two left ramps, very similar to what you'd get with a transporter. So what I did while programming this game, of course, was to go back, watch a lot of clips of Star Trek The Next Generation, I haven't seen it since I was a kid um, and used to watch it on TV. I just really wanted to remind myself of both the feeling, but specifically all the colors of everything. So what color was the Enterprise Shield? What color were the Borg lasers? So on and so forth. So together, I think these lighting effects came together really well. And this is just one of my favorite games. I had one a couple of years ago, ended up selling it, um, and just missed it and really, really wanted to get another one back into my collection. Um, it is just a phenomenally fun game. And um, let's play a couple. Um, I, it's shooting pretty hard. I'm not shooting very well, but I will try to talk through the rules and try to highlight the lighting effects as we're doing it. So uh, your skill shot is based on whatever's on the DMD when you pull the trigger. I'm gonna go for locks just so I can try to work my way into multi-ball. If I was playing for points, I'd probably go for warp four just because that lights the spinner for extra points. Um, what's nice about this is that once I plunge, the return to duty flasher goes off. This isn't going to trigger any effect, but it will instantly shut off the attract mode. So, plunge my lock, background is off, and uh, we are away and running. I'm hoping for getting, getting my multipliers up, my ramps up, I need some extra balls. I'm gonna get anywhere in this game. So the modes are always ready to start, none are running. There was the uh, transporter effect. You start your modes um, by shooting the scoop at the center of the back underneath the board ship. That was a horrible, horrible first ball. Well, at least we'll get a second lock. And again, I'll keep my finger crossed to like get some extra balls. I got lucky with the bounce there. Oh, and right into multi-ball. This isn't going to be very valuable, but when this motor goes, watch the left side. It's going to flash red. So I'm monitoring these motors. There was the shields. Oh, horrible shot. Jackpots are at that same scoop in the back, which I am not doing. There we go, got one of them. I need to recharge my shields periodically to attack from the board. Oh, and into the outlane. Maybe one more. 
No. Well, that was not a good multi ball. But I will try to at least get a mode going, which again. I got Q's challenge. So shoot the white shots and you get huge points on this one if you can hit the shots. But it goes away quickly if you're missing them. It's important to try to finish modes because they lead to artifacts and artifacts. If you get four of them, we'll give you an extra billion. Now, good to be a lieutenant. I really want to get like a uh, Ah, not a good Q's battle. Yeah, 50 million is nothing. Get another mode going. Asteroid threat. Asteroid threat. Hurry up at the center shot. Whatever you collect, then all the shots are lit for that value. Which is rapidly counting down. Seven million, pretty low. But if I get three or four of these, I'll collect my artifact and finish the mode. I will go ahead and try to get into another multi-ball. Come on. Finishing these modes, but I may get into another multi ball. Alright, now I get a start a mode of my choice because I got command decision. I'm gonna go time ref just because all the shots are lit and I only need three of them, four of them to get my artifact. Again, keep working on that lock. So I've got my artifact. And now I just want to get my locks going again. Oh, straighten the outlet. Alright. Since I'm out of my locks, I can plunge. I'm going to go for. Factor four, that's good points. Oh, I got lucky with the bounce. Start another multi-ball. Let's see if I can get better in terms of shooting into, into the center hole and collect some jackpots. And then this also builds the base value of the jackpot. There we go. Not bad. Oh, bad miss. My jack should be at about a move. Oh, still that's pretty good. There's my extra ball. Oh, that was a horrible, horrible multi ball.
lucky save. Come on, extra ball. So good to get that right about now. Alright. And I started. Search the galaxy. So this one here is shoot all three ramps. If you shoot them in order, you get an extra artifact. Alpha. Miss the beta. Now I just gotta get that gamma ramp. Or I'll just do a straight drain. Some decent bonus. Shoot again. So I think I can still get my warp four because I haven't gotten up to warp nine yet. Got a quick lock, which is good. Jeez. Well, not the greatest game. Did break a billion. Um, get me on the scoreboard because everything got reset and hope you enjoyed the lighting effects um, once I get these initials in um, and it goes into the final uh, final mode you'll see all the flashers go off so you can take a look at all the effects I'm putting in Riss which is my wife's nickname and uh, again this is just uh, just a great game overall, and I really like the Pinduino lighting effects. Um, here you can see everything. There's a transporter, there's some Borg attacks. Um, you can see the pop bumper going off with purple on the right. Um, the motors aren't running, so you're not seeing the red. And uh, I don't know if the flashes are going to get detected with all this activity for showing you what everything looks like. But um, I will post a link to the code in the comments below if you do have any questions or uh, want to know how this thing is put together, just add in his comments, happy to answer anything that you want on that front, and thanks for watching.